Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the PTB, and welcome to the new killer, or killers. Hey, boss. This right here is the twins. Are the twin? I don't fucking know. This is weird. They were conjoined twins that were separated and are granted the ability to separately move from each other by the entity. As a matter of fact, that's their fucking power. You can leave Charlotte as Victor and he will passively indicate shit with Killer Instinct or you can control Victor and pounce on bitches like you're a jockey from Left 4 Dead. Survivors can like crush Victor and then he'll regrow which sounds extremely fucking painful. Charlotte herself has no special abilities unfortunately. That's kind of that's kind of shit. Their perks are um <laughs> they're, they're something. Coup de gras. Whenever a generator is completed, you gain a token, and then every token lets you lunge a whole fucking lot longer. Porter. You can see when survivors interact with chests and items when they're nearby. Two extra chests spawn in a trial, and the rarity of items and chests are lowered. Oppression. When you damage a gen, three other generators also start regressing. If generators that are affected by oppression are being repaired, then the survivors will have to do a skill check. I like this perk. I like it a lot. Let's go try with the killer. There's a lot to take in with their power. It's kind of hard to explain without just taking five minutes to read the power description. I could read the entirety of Hamlet in the time it takes for me to find a match. I will say though, this this theme is pretty nice. Oh. My. Fucking. Fucking. Oh god. Ugh. Ugh. Here's the plan. What we can do. What we can do. You see Victor's in our chest here. What we can do is we can unbind Victor. And put him right here. And then he'll detect survivors for us. While we go off and do our own thing. That is a long fucking channel time to just be able to play the game as a different killer. Hello. Hello, Elodie. Why- what is with the fucking frame rates? And why is every- why is every survivor on the PTB fucking toxic as hell? Uh, yes. Very good at the game. Uh, 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 did you see that? Did you witness that with your own two eyes? Beautiful. Yeah, she probably has one of her stupid ass perks. I'll, I'll tell you about that perk when we get to it. Alright, so Victor can only be left unattended for a limited time. You sure you want to do that gen of my face, homie? Yes! Maybe using Victor as a tracking device isn't as efficient as I thought, but it seems like they're horny for this one generator. Now, I have to confess something. Shiny! Like 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 <laughs> God, this, 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 is, this is like sneaky stab face ghost times a billion. And it sucks. It, it sucks a lot. Want to counter Victor's pounces? Run around an object. Oh, suck my weenus. Did she just fuck? You can just walk up and bitch slap your fucking. This game is flawless. There we go. Thanks. This kill is really weird. Like, really weird. Good job. So here's here's where the play comes in. Victor reveals nearby survivors while idle using Killer Instinct. If I just go ahead and use my power here. Oh, I see. The anti-camp mechanic prevents you from... Oh, man. No. I don't like that you can just walk up and bitch slap Victor out of existence if you miss a single pounce. That's annoying. And stupid. And bad game design. There we go. Alright, so here's the play. Oh, okay. Gee, the, the fucking charge time is so bad. Oh, fuck off. You can pounce over that, I'm sure. What the fuck did I even- Oh, almost. Why can't- Why can't you just bitch slap the fucking killer while he's stunned? That is bad! Okay, I have an idea. Hang on. Body block the pallet. The fact that you have to pre-charge it's so fucking hard. There we go. And then we leave Victor to vibe, and if the survivor's near him, we will go back to Victor. Yeah, I don't like that you're able to just bitch slap Victor, though. That's fucking annoying. I'm like, oh, you missed a single ability. Have your entire power disabled. What is this, fucking Legion? 
Uh. Okay, so this is kind of useful, using it for, like, cross-map control. Demogorgon portal style. I mean, yeah. This killer's weird. This killer's really weird. That's the only word I can use to describe this killer is fucking weird. Alright, I have to go pick them up as Charlotte. Victor can't pick survivors up, unfortunately. Let's go play Victor. Uh. 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 Okay. God, he pounces so damn far. That's a good thing, I guess. Just the range. It's a shame it's not actually useful. Oh, shit. Hello. Alright, so here's the play. Here's the play, right? Control Victor? There we go. You can't see the orbs of Gates as Victor? There we go! Hey, My mans! Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you can kind of like lock down the exit gates by patrol- by like hardcore patrolling them as both killers. Man, I gotta say, this new Claudette cosmetic is looking really good. Yeah! That's, um... This is, uh... A killer, I think. I feel like conceptually this killer is really, really interesting, but I don't, I don't know. The two main things I don't like about this killer is the fact that Charlotte herself has no special kit of any kind. She just exists to be there. And the fact that if you miss a single pound as Victor, the survivor can just run up and backhand you into next week is fucking stupid. Oh, you missed a single ability that is really hard to use. Here, lose your entire power by having your character destroyed. <laughs> I'm really not sure how to feel about this killer. So, with that said, we can go play the new survivor, Elodie Rocotto. They took Jane, mixed her with Claudette, and then added a little bit of Danny Sexbang. And we got Elodie. Her perks are, um... Her thing. Her first perk, Appraisal, gives her three tokens. You can consume a token to search a chest that's already been opened. You also unlock chests faster. Her second perk, Deception, removes her ability to enter a locker while running, but if you try to enter a locker while running, it'll trigger a noise notification and remove your scratch marks. So you can basically trick the killer into thinking you entered a locker and then piss off. Her last perk, Power Struggle, is... Um... Situational? But when it works... Fuck you. If you reach a certain amount of wiggle progress while being carried, you can drop a pallet on the killer to free yourself. It's very situational because you have to reach a certain threshold and then the killer has to walk under a pallet and then it's, it's situational, but when it works, goddamn, it's another fucking second chance perk. Kill me. Ah, the new Blood Lodge. It's incredibly dark and even more immersed than before. My favorite. All right. Ooh. Oh my god, she does have custom music. I didn't even realize that. Nice. Listen to that, bro. That's fucking cool. So as you can see, we are unlocking the chest faster thanks to appraisal. And let's see what item we can get from it. We got a chest. Hello! What, do I, what should I call you? Should I call you Margaret Thatcher? I like how they got rid of the god loop, but they didn't get rid of this piece of shit. Oh, I can hear him. I can hear him. I can hear him vibing. <laughs> Oh my god! That's fucking spooky! Why does he not have a terror radius? Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Every night. Oh. I guess- Okay, that's on me. I should have taken the time to crush him. Where are the pallets, though, is my question. Like, all the fucking loops are here, but they just don't have the pallets, which is- Weird. Blight's gonna like this map now. Yes, Naya. Heal me. Alright, so now that I can actually take the time to look at this chest, let me show you, let me show you, uh, let me show you the new perk. You can search chests like you could before, after they've already been opened. And the speed still affects it. Leave me alone, you bitch! Oh no! So I'm guessing the fact that she keeps coming for me means she was using that hoarder perk she has, which lets her see when I'm interacting with chests and stuff. I find it weird how Victor doesn't have any chase music. That's- that's odd to me. Like, he has a t he has shrieks for, like, a mini terror radius, but, like, he, he doesn't have any chase music or anything of the sort, which is a bit odd. Oh, fuck! Okay, I've come to- I'm quickly coming to the conclusion of, uh, maybe I'm just bad. Alright, so now she can just hardcore- now Victor just tells her that someone's near and she can, like, freely camp and shit. That sucks. <laughs> Walk up and pimp slap him! 
No! Her music is cool. It sounds like when you're fighting a legendary ship in Assassin's Creed 4. Oh, her Charlotte's Huff doesn't have a terror radius. Well, oh fuck. Oh fuck. I made a dum dum. I made a large dum dum. What the fuck? There's nothing there! Hey, that's pretty good. Shit, we might want to book it. We might want to book at home slices. That music is really good. I mean, it's not like. I feel like it could be a little more intense, but. Wow, they really increase the distance from the pallet to the window on that. My goodness. You sure you don't want to just, like, do the gen? Home slice? Get me the fuck out of this match. I don't know how to play against this killer, please. Ah, yes. Perfect game with no flaws whatsoever. I think I'm just gonna leave. Really? I'm, I'm just gonna book it. Well, this is an interesting killer to face. The, the person playing them seemed good, I think. I guess, because Charlotte just doesn't have any abilities. She's just a completely basic 115 killer. So, like, if you don't take Victor out, you literally don't have a power. I don't really understand the point of having two killers if only one of them has a power. I'm gonna give this killer another shot. Maybe... Maybe I was just playing poorly. Maybe I just don't understand her that well. So, I'm gonna run the add-on that decreases the separation time, and I'm gonna run the add-on that decreases the pounce charge time. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'm probably gonna... Probably gonna fail miserably because I'm very good at this game. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this might be good with Victor because the straightaways. I don't know. Here's the play. Body block the door. They can't access this generator. I now have no terror radius. <laughs> it's fucking Schmeagle ass. All right, so I watched some gameplay. God, Keep throwing throwing mains. Mains. <laughs> Baby. There's always a full bomb conjugation hanging. Are they are not yeah. removing Victor, and I'm getting serious value out of it because they're all traveling in groups. <laughs> this is beautiful. It's like the Japanese subways. And my god, the frame rate is awful. Well done. Beautiful, Nancy. She still hasn't removed Victor. What the hell? Yo, that's actually... Oh my god, that's actually a legit strat. If you just don't remove Victor off your back, then the killer just can't get their power. All right, body block this so the survivor can't leave because I'm an asshole. They'll probably add a feature to call him back or force him inside him. Fuck me. Don't touch the jack. Don't touch the child! Oh, okay, alright. Victor's Me fucked. slapping the survivor and the fucking don't for <laughs> taking my child. Do not touch the child. Do not touch the child! You it have to be a certain distance back. Yeah, and also just, the survivor gets so long to prepare it. Good job, moron! <laughs> I knew she would do that. What they happened? gave him two buffs. <laughs> Beautiful, Lori. Alright, here's the play. Here's the play, gamers. Yeah, Fuck! Don't bitch slap me! Don't bitch slap me! Thank you. Fuck. Don't bitch slap me! Don't bitch slap me! She's not aware that she can bitch slap me. Zahando! Like, conceptually, I like them. But... No, like, even as playing them, I actually really like them. I'm not sure how I feel. Are you fucking serious, my nuts? Leapt right over the survivor. Might have a design comparable. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. Yeah. So that's a thing. I love their design. I like how Victor loves it, but... Oh my god! That was fucking hot. That was arousing. And then I just switched the Victor and Pounce on her. Oh my god! This killer is okay. This killer is really fun when he doesn't get countered by Yamaoka. With a full anti heal build. Nancy. What? That was that was funny and quirky. All right. I've got a couple of games. I'm gonna put him in the courtyard, see if I can detect anyone while I hook Nancy. Uh, really? Yeah, oh, new blindness effect. They adjusted the blindness effect. It looks a lot cooler now. Corner switch. Oh, she's not gonna do that. That's a shame. Oh no, Jackie, I had that earlier. Why not just have Victor camp a hook? Uh, you can't. He, he, he you can't like control them. All right, switch. I can't. I can't. It's not letting me. It doesn't let you switch. No, I'm yeah, too I'm too close to the fucking hook. <laughs> I get fucked. <laughs> oh my god. Techie, I'm not to show you that video I did earlier where uh, I was I was running through this hallway. Oh my god, that's great. Oh my god. Oh shit. Control Victor. No, let, let me no 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 dude, don't touch the child. Fuck. Don't bitch slap me. A okay, we're really good. Really good um, add-on is the one that exposes them. <laughs> <laughs> now your Victor's dead. I don't care. I got a hit through a pallet. I wonder if the Demogorgon tech works. Yes, it does. Pounce tech works. Victor yeah, space program is a thing. Or do you want to get a better spot? All right. Then All right, I'm unbinding him. Oh shit. Can I? Ha 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 
<laughs> That's fun. That's really fun. What? Did she, she went Not down a deep wound. She went down to deep. All right, all right, Peppa, are you watching? No. Oh, I want to show you a uh, pounce deck because it's a thing. All right, I'm, I'm watching. All right, watch this. <laughs> Yeet! Oh, oh, that would have hit. If that would have. Oh, 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 oh my god, that's so fun! Oh my god. Remember how everyone was saying like demo is Hunter's Hatchet the Killer? This is Hunter's Hatchet the Killer right here. And also, you physically, if you take Victor off, like when you finish the animation, you stand still. So if you try to take him off on a chase, you're fucking yourself. Uh, you can't jump on the- you cannot jump on the hill. <laughs> he interrupts vaulting animations! Alright, <laughs> here I am, bitch! Boy! Beautiful. Uh, where you can still drop palace and stuff. <laughs> oh my god, this killer's a fucking riot. I mean, she's she's got a little bit yeah. nice dead hard. Oh dude, I saw that killer instinct from across the map. Okay. Okay. Oh my god! Coup de gras, coup de gras, coup de gras clutch. I didn't even know I had it. Okay, okay, I'm liking this killer a lot more now. I can't believe a, a map that actually a mid with a killer Fuck. It's okay, Mither, you'll get it. <laughs> Did you ever have a dream where where you, <laughs> you ever have a dream have that where you you, ever, you, you have, have you watch what... Well, I think that's going to do it for this video. The fact that you can position yourself in two places at once by being two killers is really, really interesting. And then Victor's pounce on its own is just a sweet ass fucking chase tool if you can use it properly. I think they're gonna be really difficult, but I'm not necessarily upset by that. I'm fine with high skill, high reward killers. I just hope the high reward part actually comes into play. I think that's gonna do it for this video. I'm excited for the new killer to come out live and the map reworks look interesting. It's just a shame we didn't get Ormond. I mean, it's not, it's not really ever a shame, is it? Thank you all so much for watching, and uh, Charlotte and Victor, good job, girl. Boy, guys, I don't fucking know.